Hi everybody, welcome to the City of Yorba Linda's Virtual Recreation Center. My name is Jade Moreno and I work in the Parks and Recreation Department. We're here today to show you how you can still have fun and recreate while social distancing and staying safe at home. Before you paint on another design on the rock, make sure the paint is dried all the way, as so the colors do not mix. If you would like to speed up this process, a hair blow dryer is an easy way to make the paint dry faster. It actually dries within seconds. Painting these rocks can be done anywhere in the house or outside as long as wherever you're painting on is covered, either with a tablecloth or a plastic covering. Make sure you always have water next to you so you can change your waters quickly and efficiently. If you would like your paintings to last longer, go ahead and put Mod Podge over it. First layer the top and once that is dried, layer the back of it and it should last a lot longer than without the Mod Podge. You can use any rock you find. A good idea is to go hiking with your family and collect every rock you can find that'll be perfect for your painting. If you want more smoother rocks, you can actually purchase those at Home Depot or any garden home store. These are very easy to find, and once you're done with these paintings, it's really fun to go back out into a hiking trail and placing these rocks for other people to find. Algebraic! Now go ahead and take a smaller paintbrush and go ahead and use white and we're going to just start and make a square. It's going to go into about the middle of the rock and once you're done making that square just round it off just a tiny bit. And with a smaller paintbrush or a toothpick, paint half circles on the right and the left top end of the square. Once you are done with that, we are going to take blue, preferably sky blue, and paint a rectangle below the white square. This will be his torso. Now, go ahead and take a light green and paint a small round rectangle on the left and right sides of the blue rectangle. This will be the first part of his backpack. And then do the same with a darker green below it. Now, paint a slightly curved blue thick line attached to the green on both sides. These would be his arms. Next, we will paint a pinkish tan oval in the middle of the white square. This will be his face. With the Sharpie, once the paint is dried, go ahead and draw his face as shown. Go ahead and take the same paint you used for his face and paint the same thickness of a line to be his arms. For the last step, you are going to outline the paint with a black sharpie, and now your fin is ready for adventure. Go ahead and take a toothpick and follow the pattern I am making. You will use the color white. As you can see, the dots will resemble a turtle shell. Now go ahead and take the dark green and outline the inside of the dots for each section. Do the same with lime green. And then the light green. This will fill the turtle shell with dots. For the front of the turtle, we are going to make an oval shaped head out of dots. After the dots have dried, on the same turtle head, add two larger dots for the turtle's eyes and then two smaller black dots. Now you have an easy turtle rock. Now, let's paint the grass. 
An easy way to paint the grass is just to paint up with the brush along the bottom of the rock. If you want to add more detail with your grass, go ahead and go over it lightly with a darker green. And then go ahead and draw the stem of the dandelion, so a little thicker than the grass going up to about the middle of the rock. On top of the stem, paint a decent sized dark brown dot, and then once that is dried, you will add a smaller light brown dot in the middle of it. If you have one, take a skinny paintbrush or a toothpick and paint lines around the brown dot. For the top of the dandelion, you're just going to do small strokes that resemble a star. You would do that for each of the little white lines you did. For every stroke of the dandelion, make sure you brush it off just a little bit so the paint can come up lighter, almost as if it's transparent. Add smaller white stars on top of the white line. After that, we will paint small lines blown away from the dandelion. On top of the blown away dandelion, go ahead and add a smaller dark brown line to the white line. Now you've made a dandelion. Thank you all for joining us. We hope you enjoyed this segment. Check our website at www.yourbelindaca.gov backslash virtual recreation center for more information and resources.